it's the last week in May 2021 so this is when I'm going to start my late spring update on the Southern Perfection grass seed experiment here in Nightdale, North Carolina. Uh, this is the time of year when I normally start losing my yarn, but this year it really looks fantastic. But it's probably going to be about another three weeks or so before I post this on, on YouTube. So over the next three weeks, we'll keep a close eye on this. I've had full foliage for several months now, and the grass seems to be holding its own. I just cut it today. It's still not growing the way uh, some grass that I've had in previous years have. But, you know, every seven to ten days, it, it needs a cut. But right now we've got temperatures in the 90s. And it's been dry. We haven't had a drop of rain and I'm, I'm guessing over at least a week, maybe 10 days. Actually, I don't worry about rain too much. You see that little swimming pool down there, that 10 foot swimming pool, it holds over a thousand gallons of water. And I can fill that up in less than two days with my ram pump down in the creek. I've got YouTube videos regarding the ram pump design, uh, placement, and other things about it. If you're interested in a ram pump, I highly recommend the ram pump for you if you have even the smallest creek. Okay, but anyhow, I'm, I'm able to irrigate my yard, so I'm lucky in that respect. And it's, it's free water. So, even though we haven't had any rain, it's still not totally dry. I would prefer rain to irrigation, but maybe tonight. Okay, we'll uh, check back in in a, in a week or so. Definitely by Father's Day, I will have this posted on YouTube. If it lasts that long, I'll, I'll consider it a rousing success. Still looking at the uh, Southern Perfection grass seed from Fairway Green. Raleigh, North Carolina. It's late spring, early summer. This part of North Carolina, we call it early summer. Had many days over 90 degrees. It's not that hot today. Had a lot of rain last night. It's been about eight days since I, uh, I cut this grass. And let me get down here a little lower and you'll see it's really doing good compared to the first few months I planted it. I mean cutting it about between four and five inches tall. It's hard to say exactly because my yard's not not level. So tomorrow I'll go ahead and cut it and uh, show you what it looks like after a fresh mowing and go ahead and post this video. I'm just totally amazed that this grass has done so well this long compared to all my other experiments. So, Southern Perfection. I always compare everything to the Black Beauty. At this point I have to say Black Beauty move over. I think Southern Perfection is doing a little better. I've got some weird spots here. I don't know what it is. My, it may be, I, I don't know what this is. Little spots in my yard. So I don't know if it's grubs or brown patch or what. Could be places where the deck on my old mower bounced as I was going along and cut a little too low the last time I cut. But this is just bonus out here. My real experiment is from here to the driveway, from this Christmas tree up to the driveway. That's what I'm really field testing. Okay, I'll come out here tomorrow, get this grass cut, and uh, give another snapshot. Then I'll go ahead and put this on YouTube. Then probably uh, when it's really hot in the middle of the summer, we'll see if this thing survives. 
Okay, got my grass cut. Middle of June. I'm calling it early summer. Southern Perfection grass. Looking pretty good. I, I have a couple of bad spots. You can see where I left my hose out for a week. But uh, all in all, this is really good grass. We'll see next month. Will it hold? It's been excellent so far. Slow grow. Thin bladed. Let me get down here and show you again. Really narrow blades. Can you see that? Yeah. This is not. This is not like the fescue you're probably used to. This is something different. And uh, it took a long time for it to germinate. I think I cut it maybe three times between September and New Year. Can't remember, but it wasn't very many times. But it's looking good now. Keep my fingers crossed. Hope that things hold out another month. You know, if I can make it to the, till July, I'll be happy even if the whole yard just goes brown because I can reseed in August. Okay. Full shade. Appreciate you watching. We'll give you an update once uh, we're really into the middle of summer or if something changes about this yard.